Hi, my name is Ian Robertson, and uh, I've been asked by Samantha LC to, first of all, do a little comic about a story that I started to write when I was a junior, and more importantly, to talk about why it is that I love vlogging and uh, how it's changed my life. So I've been trying to come up with a concise way to say this, and uh, so far it hasn't been going so well. But I've come to the realization that vlogging is something that's hard to love, because it's essentially just you doing a diary, but where you can judge the way that you look and trying to have a conversation while you're doing it with yourself, which is very difficult to do and make it entertaining. But the flip side of that same coin is that it's, um, it's a challenge. So for instance, kind of out of necessity, it challenges you to be a little bit more entertaining and a little bit more of a, of a, a camera presence. But something that uh, I certainly try to do, and I feel like some other people in our little vlog project try to do, is to use the vlog as a way to kind of challenge ourselves to um, not only be better people, but to challenge everyone who sees them to better themselves um, in their own way. So for instance, my vlog started out just me mostly complaining about my life. And because I'm a narcissist and I watch all of my own videos over and over again, it led me to the conclusion that I was being way too whiny. And if those collection of videos were what was going to speak about me and who I am, which is kind of what I was going for when I was picking what I was going to say in all of them, it was a really embarrassing collection. And that's what I think I love the most about vlogging, is that it, it, it asks you to, to boil yourself and your message down into an essence. It asks you to make a little package to describe yourself to the world which means you obviously want to make that package as much of the best things about yourself as possible. And I think I love vlogging because it has the potential to change your life. So to answer the second question, uh, a result of me trying to boil myself down and find that essence that I want to give to the rest of the world that's the most flattering for me, it's asked me to focus just on those things, those best things about myself. And the more you focus on that and make that the thing that you think about in the back of your head all the time, the more you become a more productive, uh, a, a nicer, a more thoughtful person. In essence, a better person. Now I can't say that vlogging has made me a better person, but what I love about vlogging is that it's asked me to be a better person and it's caused me to constantly aim to be a better person. There is a tremendous amount of hope that exists just within vlogging. So much of things that are even just on the internet in general are looking towards the future, and because we're in charge of it, we're always looking up into the future. People talk all the time about the adverse effects that are likely to come out of having a whole new generation of kids growing up into adults having been raised entirely on the internet. And I'm glad to report that the more time I spend on the internet, the more it occurs to me that it is just a community and a realm of hope. It's a weird concept, so full of new ethical dilemmas and questions that old generations didn't always have to deal with, being thrust upon shoulders that otherwise don't know how to deal with it. And oddly enough, it led to a generation looking for self-betterment. And the fact that the internet and vlogging is all about hope gives me hope. So I guess that's why I love vlogging.